You guys, I have not been this excited about a video game conference in so long. It's kind of ridiculous. All right, you guys, in case you didn't know, my name is Daniel, and today we're gonna be talking about all of the things that was released with E3. Before we get started, if you don't care to click that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so that you can get videos when they come out on my channel. Now, keep in mind, this is just a highlight and recap for the entire three days of the conference. So if you know something that come out on E3 and it wasn't talked about on here, uh, don't get mad but I do ask that you put it in the comments down below so that not only everyone else can see it, uh, but if I happen to have missed something because I had to go back and rewatch it when I was working, uh, hiding a phone screen while you're streaming a video game conference and working is not the best idea. All right, you guys, so let's start with day one, which was Microsoft. So Microsoft kicked it off pretty well. They announced over 50 games but the biggest game that everyone loves and everyone has played before, if you have ever owned an Xbox, is Halo. Now, Halo Infinite was released and finally Master Chief is going to be back into the games, uh, which he hasn't kind of been the main storyline for the past game or two, but that's okay. And then according to Phil Spencer, this is gonna be the best adventure that he's ever had yet. Now, I know that they normally say that anyway when you, you know, release, release a new game, but I mean, I guess we're just gonna to have to wait and see. Some of the trailer that's playing currently is some of the best stuff that I have ever seen yet as far as graphics and storyline and, you know, basically what you can see from there. And they kind of teased about a little console um, that was going to be released in as early as 2020. Uh, it might it'll probably, I mean, it'll probably be released sometime next year if they get it done early. But a lot of uh, research that I've done, um, and everyone on the internet is saying that it's going to be called the Xbox Wire. I'm not really sure if that's going to be a thing or not, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Now, day two was mainly Sony's day, uh, all of the PlayStation games. I, was praying that they didn't release a PlayStation 5 because I've heard that once they do that it might possibly be all digital. I guess we'll just have to pause and wait and see for that one as well. But thank God they didn't release a brand new PlayStation console. They did, however, release a lot, a lot of trailers for games that I'm extremely excited about. My favorite game ever is The Last of Us. It's one of the very first games that I played on a PlayStation. Uh, you know, I've played it twice. I, I will play it again before the new one comes out. It is rumored to come out in the spring of 2019 and an exact date obviously hasn't been set yet. But as you can see here, it does show some, not only does it show an amazing trailer, but it does show some of the gameplay at the very end of that trailer. And it's something that I'm extremely excited about. I wanna play it right, right now, I can't wait. I need it to be in my life today. A couple other trailers that they did release, and I'm excited about these as well, um, is Spider-Man. You know, obviously, everybody loves Spider-Man. But then they also released another trailer for Ghost of Tsushima, and I never, I don't think I ever say that right, uh, but all of these trailers do look really good. <laughs> I think I'm kind of biased in the fact that I went into the PlayStation Sony conference uh, only looking for The Last of Us Part 2. I've looked up the other trailers. I've, I already know what we're talking about, what we're looking at here. Um, so I just, I needed this to be a thing. I needed them to release some of this stuff and they did. And now I just have to deal with this for like almost an entire year and it's killing me. All right, day three was Nintendo's day and I already kind of predicted that they were gonna center everything around the Nintendo Switch since it is their newest console. And to be honest, they haven't really released a lot of really good new games. One of their biggest ploys and for marketing, and it was extremely smart on Nintendo's part, was to release the Switch paired with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, <laughs> I have over a hundred hours of playtime on this thing, uh, and I can't, I can't put it down. Um, so to find something that is that good to go with the Switch, I haven't. So it was good on Nintendo's part 
to release and pair it with something to ensure that it was gonna sell, but in, but not keeping up that maintenance is something that is extremely bad for them to deal with. You're not, like, the games, they're not selling any games, hardly any, for the Nintendo Switch. Um, but they did redeem themselves a little bit and release some more information for games. So to start off with Nintendo's day, they released Fortnite, which is something that's really smart on Nintendo's part because now Fortnite is almost a universal game. You can play it on the PC. I play it on my iPhone. You can play it on a Nintendo Switch. You can play it on iPads, tablets, obviously. I did hear where people were taking their tablets and using um, HDMI cords or hacking something and allowing them to play this on their screen with a mobile device and that you can do this with PUBG as well. Um, and you know, I'll research that look around and then you know, I'll put it up in my next video or I might even make a completely separate video about it. But something that killed me killed me killed me killed me and it got it might kill sony a little bit too um they restricted the playstation 4 from playing with nintendo users on fortnite it's not cross compatible for them it's cross compatible for a pc it's cross compatible for um a mobile to playstation 4 it's cross compatible from mobile to p uh, S4 is plus compatible for a mobile to P like it's just it's just very cross compatible uh, but Sony kind of like screwed themselves over a little bit because now you've got all of these Nintendo Switch users that can't play with PS4 and it just it completely was like a con for Sony and Nintendo's probably going to take full advantage of that and obviously, the biggest thing that we are here to talk about for Nintendo is Mario. And when I talk about Mario, I'm not just talking about the Super Smash Brothers that has the amazing trailer. It's awesome. They also released a Super Mario Party that you can play with multiple Switch games, you can play with multiple controllers, multiple people, and you can even take the screens and put them together and use them for the entire game as a multiplayer function. And that's something that was extremely smart on their part. Now, if you are interested in the Super Smash Brothers, and I know a lot of people have already hyped this up to really high demand, as well as post some gameplay on here about it. Now, there's gonna be so many people that are gonna be waiting in line in order to get this game. And to be honest with you, I think that Nintendo has like bumped their graphics up and they've bumped up what they're doing because They've always been known for a very amiibo style cartoon look. And it's the kind of the animation that Mario has always been in. You know, the, obviously over the years, the graphics have been upgraded, but I mean, it's still the same type of look and it, it never gets old. But now I don't know how to explain it properly while watching the trailer or the gameplay for the Super Smash Brothers, but it just, it's crisp and nice and it's just really good and I can't wait to get my hands on this game. All right, you guys, so that is all that I have for you today. And by today, I mean at midnight when I'm filming this and I'm dead tired. <laughs> But I knew that even though I was late getting this video out, I needed to get this video out for you guys because this is like the biggest event, not only for gaming, but it's the biggest event other than the Apple conference that I watch. I religiously stream the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference and I religiously watch E3 and I've been working my butt off lately and I wasn't really able to like sit down and like I'm used to. So... Now that I can finally post updates about my YouTube channel on here and tell you about E3, obviously I don't have all of the details down, but this was just a highlights video and I want you guys to please put in the comments below what was your favorite part of E3, what is the game that you are most excited about, and please like this video click this button here so that you can subscribe to my channel. Check out these videos as well because they are important and I worked very hard on them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love all of you. Bye.